So this is my first week-long advanced retreat, and um, I've been so excited about it. Uh, and when I arrived on Monday, in, and we, I was standing in line with my friend to get into the doors, and I heard from some of the other people that there was going to be a challenge activity. <laughs> um, and, and we ended up, our challenge activity ended up being the the day in no time, which I was like, okay, I can handle that. But we still had to do this surrender activity. Well, I was terrified. Te like, yeah, not, fear is not even strong enough word. Like, it was terror, sheer abject terror at the idea of doing this. Because I've had similar experiences in the past that have just created so much trauma, um, you know, trapped all that trauma in my lower energy centers. And, like, honestly, I can't even tell you if I've even done a trust fall before because um, that I blocked out whatever happened, whether I successfully did it or not, is all blocked out. So I was, I was really scared. And I was kind of angry, you know, at first too. I know the anger was just a mask for the fear, but, um, you know, I was, you know, why are they going to make us do this? This isn't going to help me. This isn't what I need, you know, that kind of thing. So I went back to my, the place I was staying on Monday night and, and I cried for like two hours, just, you know, just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and, and, you know, cause I was so scared and, but I didn't want that to ruin my experience here at the retreat. So I started looking at that fear and started picking it apart. And, and I was like, okay, I need to get underneath this and then figure out what's the core issue. Because I thought, you know, I could probably force myself to do this challenge, you know, the surrender activity, but only if I know that what I really want is on the other side of this. You know, like if I'm not going to do the activity, just do the activity. I can only make myself do this you know, scary thing if what I want's on the other side. And so, and I was like, you know, and this is where my preparation for the retreat really came in handy because I, you know, I did the homework. I watched the progressive and intensive videos three times each. I read the books. I was practicing the meditations. And so like in that moment when I was faced with this fear and as I was picking it apart, I, you know, I, it was like I had Dr. Joe's voice in my head, you know, and, and it said, I was like, you know, you know how he always says that the river of change is uncomfortable. And I was sitting in that discomfort the very first night. And I thought, what am I going to do with this? You know, I'm in the river of change. What am I going to do with this? And as I was picking apart my fear of this activity, I realized that my greatest fear, you know, because I thought, well, certainly I'm afraid of not being caught and falling and getting hurt. But I also knew Intellectually, I understood that that wasn't going to happen. Uh, and the fact that I knew that intellectually was still fearful, I knew that there were other things under it. And so as I was picking it apart, I found that the bottom layer really was that I was just afraid of doing, going through the stress of doing the activity again as the old person and just getting more trauma stuck in my lower centers. And that's what I was terrified of is just the continued trauma. And so I decided in that moment that I was going to become a new person. Um, and I basically said, you know what, I want to be all in, you know, because I thought about skipping the activity. I was like, I could just walk away, nobody will notice. But I wanted to be all in for this because my main goal for this retreat was to return as a different person. And I didn't expect this was going to be the thing I'd have to face, but. Um, I just knew that I want to be different. And I thought, no, you know, not only do I want to do this activity, but I want to be the kind of person that would embrace this activity. Uh, you know, my friend that I was traveling with loves trust falls and thinks they're exhilarating. And I was like, I want to be like that. Not just I can do this, but I love doing this. So I said to myself, okay, I have three days to become a new person. And so I started rehearsing. Um, so I went out and I watched the surrender activity the first day so that I could see what it was like and I could rehearse in my mind, go, walking up the platform, um, you know, seeing the faces around me. I sized up my group so I knew we had some big strong guys and that was going to be okay. And um, I, you know, I practiced falling back on my bed so I knew what physical movements to do. And I practiced saying um, my words of power. So like I made a little script for myself that, you know, phrases to say that make me feel powerful. So I would say, I am Becky, I am unlimited, I am miracles, I am fearless, I am ready to surrender. And I would just practice that over and over again. And any time if that fear came up, I would just rehearse that in my mind, walking up those stairs, saying those words, and just letting myself go immediately, no pause. And, um, so, so, and I was really happy because I noticed, I was like, I'm, you know, I wasn't living in the fear of the activity. I was, I was curious, right? Um, and then so I get, you know, our, we went on Thursday night with the group. 
And, and oh, so the other thing I did to rehearse is I was like, you know what, I have to be really careful how I talk about this because I can't go around telling everybody I'm scared of this activity because I'm just recreating that fear. So I tried either not to talk to it about to people about it, um, especially my team, because I didn't want them to project any fear onto me in the activity. So I would say, if it ever came up, I would say, yeah, I was scared, but now I'm a new person and the fear's in the old person. And I would talk about how I'm rehearsing for the, for the, the trust, the surrender activity. And so, um, I, when the when the day came, we, you know, it's my team's turn, and I was, you know, a little a little bit nervous, but I was going with the, you know, I'm excited to try this, to to try to be this new person. So I walk up the platform and I get up there, and immediately as soon as I get in position, my legs start shaking uncontrollably, and I knew within moments my whole body was going to be in the shakes. And you know, the the coach right next to me, she said the perfect thing. She said, "This is just a program." This is just a, an old program that your body's running. And in that moment, I knew that because I knew that I was a new person and this was just my body reacting. And so when she said that, it triggered the new program that I had been rehearsing. And so, you know, with my hands on my heart, I just said, I am Becky, I am unlimited and I am miracles. But I felt the fear getting bigger, you know, and the shakes getting bigger. And so as they got bigger, my, I had to make my voice louder. I had to make my voice louder than the fear. And so I just screamed out, I am fearless. And I screamed out even louder, top of my lungs. I said, I am ready to surrender. And I just went for it. It was amazing, but it was just so exhilarating to be caught. And it, you know, when, I, when I, my team um, laid me down, I, was, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Like I was just overwhelmed by all the emotions and the, the personal victory that it was for me. Um, and then the neat thing is since then, like, I know that I'm a new person and I know, you know, I think that scream released all that energy from those lower centers, just right out through number five, um, because I don't feel that trauma anymore. In fact, in this last meditation, the last thought I had coming out of it was this world really is a safe place. It's life changing, you know, and I, that's who I want to be. I want to be fearless, and now I am.